Hello again, we're on the road today, not very far from home. We've come to Painswick. This course is 4,500 and summit yards par 67. It was laid out in 1891. And yes, we are going to play an Iron Age hill fort. So, 4,500 yards par 67, piece of cake, right? Nope. This place requires you to leave your ego in your car. Let's have a look at the first. There is a dirty great big bomb hole just over the lip that you can see. So iron off the tee to start with. Right then, here we go. Five iron up the hill. Wanna be on the left side, um, but not that far left. First pull of the day, swiftly followed by the first knife of the day. Simple chip, although I make a bit of a Horlix of this. Quite a bit of trouble on this hole if you use driver. So it's just out with a three wood. And nicely in the middle. Hey, I think I'm actually playing golf now. Well, Painswick is known as an inland Lynx golf course probably because it's so old and very natural. I mean, I mean, look at this quarrying that's gone on over the years to get the Cotswold stone. Anyway, it is in the top 100 courses of England, would you believe? The par three out here, which is in the top 100 in England. And I've come up short which when you consider this hole is uh, surrounded on three sides by quarry, is probably a good idea. Third hole, not very long. You can't miss left, you can't go in the quarry in front of you, but I can reach it with a driver. Unfortunately, I necked it. You know, we're absolutely miles from the sea here, but this is an inland lynx, and you've got to embrace this land and these contours. I'd rather chip this with a five iron than a log boat, but I'm going with a nine iron. I doubt I would have got a 60 that close. Pretty time. About 40 yards in front of the property. It's up the hill. You can't go on the uh, path to the right so it's a big drive up the left and that'll leave you one of your wedges in of course being off the yellows I've only got 55 to this back flag so not too difficult I just overhit this a tiny mount and I'm on the down slope here ball in the rough and I just go with a bunt with the putter and a straightforward par the 
a stick. It's bad, is it? Can you imagine? They built this 2,200 years ago, before the invention of the wheelbarrow hit the British Isles. And it goes on for hundreds of yards. And you've got all these ditches. Even if you're the might of the Roman army, how do you fancy assaulting that with a row of logs on top? I mean, imagine coming over these folds in the ground and you get here and you've got to go down again. Back up. All the while some ancient Britons are hurling spears and rocks at you. So this is our top 100 par 3 and it is a brute when the wind is blowing. Right wheel. Oh, that's okay. Just a simple chip with a sandy. Get it to the top of the knob and let it roll down onto the green. Although this one bounced to the right which wasn't, didn't make me particularly happy. Downhill, the green slopes away from you, so the, the idea is to get it to the far end of the green and then put back um, and not block it out to the right and leave yourself an impossible chip. I just used a nine iron here and a nine iron and I just bumped it to the end of the uh, end of the ridge there, let it run down and see where it finishes. And that's a damn good par. Well, they call this the coffin. I suppose because you're dead and buried if you go in it. Well, my five iron found the green. Uh, unfortunately, the ball does not find the hole. These greens are a fair bit slower than Lily Book, and uh, I struggle to get there all the way around. Now, a new little toy. Not sure that looks any good, especially after a big pull. Right, four iron, down the shaft, shut face, three quarter swing, gotta hit a low hook. That's nine done. Now, number ten, par three, back into the hill four. Well, I'm supposed to be hitting just over the top of that hill to the right of that saddle. However, 
I thought I'd go with a slice. Well, at least I cured the hook. Another boring run-of-the-mill par. Anything left or long here is down a 50-foot bank, into the quarry, off the edge of the hill fort, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, five wood. And then I make a complete hash of this. This is so lazy. I was disgusted with making this. This green is really awkward, but I'm very grateful for, for the flag being in a decent place today. I'll take a par here any day of the week, and I do. Well, this hole is an easy birdie. Unless, of course, you pull it about 60 yards left of the green. That shot tracer isn't quite right. My ball is considerably left of where that shot tracer finished. Seven iron down the hill, you cannot see a thing from the tee. To get some idea of where the green is, you just got to walk forward. This is an easy bogey. In fact, it's, a, it's an easy lost ball. Hit the damn thing. 16. Another hole I can drive. If only I can hit it straight or a tiny fade and. Oh boy, slap the ground. Well left again. 50 yards left again. I am missing out on the birdies today. Seventeen. Now it looks wide enough, but actually it gets very narrow in the driving area. So it's just a four iron and let it run down the hill and then it crosses the road and goes onto that flat bit. 
leaves me about 144, so there isn't really much point in taking the driver and, t and challenging the corner of the cemetery. We'd be dead and buried over there. Last hole, I've been sat on the balcony there having a drink after a match and seeing a hole in one, but you can't see much from the actual tee, you can't see the level of the green. I really thought this had gone off the side. Fortunately it just hung up.